help upset that further in your favor. Jay should be favored early on. It was the counter pick after all. The Braum gets to pick late for 100 Thieves. They get that one no problem. Actually going for a very heavy leaning focus with this, but Reeves moving forward. Medios is here. Yeah, a little bit of damage there. Nice flash get away from the knockup, but now he's gonna run out of health bar. Flash auto stun auto comes through and Medios gives himself a kill. No knockup to be had though. Lear a lot of the advantage that you get from this sort of pick is more about Lear. Huh, the flash and a knockup, the damage output and the hourglass means nothing at all. Cody tried to immune some damage, doesn't happen. We're talking about a little bit. Uh, you know, it is the summer spell. Looks up, but Lyra is actually going to be caught out. Lots of hard CC being chained in. Here comes Galio. The stopwatch to buy some time as well. The knockup, the AOE taunt there as well. Is the damage going to be had, though? Is Lyra about to lose his life? Oh my god. But he flag and drags out. Are you kidding me? He survives. The shock blast shoots down the bot lane as well. Akmu low on health. The back lane. We get yep. first turn out of this one. Mita's now going to share the gold here. So they're all rich together. I always personally prefer the Lyra's later room king of worlds when he was still pushing on Jace, but he also did go tier. And 1200 HP and he's kind of playing though. far away. Yeah, the rest of the squad coming across. A nice flash ult. Gets away from the stun though. Venus in the fray. But look at that. It's Galio. He's got ability power. He's got oh, damage. Oh. He's got a kill. Seven gets one. And now the re engage is Shen shows up as well. Souls are trying to find some shots. Were you about to die? One more shuttle to him in, but he walks away just barely in time. Lyra though gets the flag across the back of the head. Electric gets the kill for himself. Now running away. Stun is out of turret range. You gotta respect this a little bit. No stopwatch. Gets the shield though. Stays alive. Two for zero so far to clutch in that top side alongside Solo. This turret will indeed turret. fall and clutch getting themselves a nice fight in the mid game. Yeah, beautiful stuff from there. 100 once again. Yeah, we'll see if they go for it. They're jumping on a solo now. Cody Sun a bit low, so we're gonna stay alive for this one. One more shot with Stun of those shot flash comes oh, in, he oh. gets the kill. Lear in the back line, he's found after move, forcing the flash away from this one as well. He's gonna get tied up. That should be the kill. He's got the stopwatch, burns it here. How's the ring gonna go? Seven's gonna land the Q. No, not just yet. Apollo gets the attack though. And now that's another kill in a row for Clutch Gaming. Four to oh, one in this nice Drake. It's almost gonna be. It should be actually rapid fire cannon now for Cody Sun. Cody Cody's Sun. Hearing. It's a date with this turret. Oh, he's got to respect well, for the fact United. that Lyra is here with a Shanai Salty perfectly placed out by Cody Sun gets away with it. Yeah, very well done there. I wonder if Lyra could be a turret going down. And even though he wasn't hard smashing top lane, like forcing recall. It's going to cost him a turret here too as 100 Thieves uh, make a play on the map, get something out of that, and, or start a fight. And someday now back in Mini Dyer, this would be Clutch Gaming's opportunity if they're going to go for it. All right, gets the reset, doesn't matter. Nice push off, and they've got the Infernal Break for themselves. They too as well, because again, they know someday is far, but they won't go for a dive just yet, even though they started up. Uh, so they're just waiting for a mistake, and this oh. may be that mistake. Solo caught. Sun found Solo, Shen to them as well. In comes Megan. Oh, nice knock. They've got the taunt, they've got the damage. Cody Sun loses his life for this one. Now it's a 5v4, and Ryu's got to flash away. But there comes the re-engage Cataclysm. Get the second kill now for the team as the last should be, goal. unless you heavily misplay an easy clutch gaming Baron. See if they time it. You smite early and then you just rend yourself at 1200. And it's almost right, possible there. The is backing off. 943 is the rend. Max, 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 down it goes to its fall. That's the first tier two to go. Mid lane not under much fire as Apollo needs to be pretty respectful of all this. And the proper team fights, they certainly can come out on top. There we go. Look at them do it. Three turrets going down during the Baron buff. One of these have three dates to the name. They'd love to get there they themselves. Go. Won't need quite a bit for clutch. Here comes the teleport in for something, but he's only halfway on the Narbar. Big Ren comes in, picked up by Lyra on the smite. They time it together. And so they got to go over the wall. Will clutch come in? No, looks like they're going to pull off. Okay, wall comes in for Talia. That's going to be one ulti down. Lyra is going to go for the oh, three man knock up with the Galio coming across. Only finds Brom, though. Is the team going to stay safe for this one? Is Lyra down about 1300 HP. Ryu on the side, finding some shots as well. And Cody Sun is safe done. and untouched. He's going to look for Lyra. Has to push him away. Solo has to flash the wall, but the chase is in for Sunday. He's up to uh, no actually rage at all. Unable to ult during the fight as Apollo gets slow. Gets the ulti in for Hakuo. Cody but the chase in. is in. Another shot comes through. Cody Sun finds one. He finds two. And it's back control finally for 100 Thieves. And that's the fight they were waiting for. Very, very want to give this up, but 10 Lyra really make anything happen here. You make the attempt, but it could just give away more kills. Shock class lands, push right back out by Dostana, but it's still within range. Nice ulti there, something guarantees gonna be fine. And a flash from Lyra to make sure he doesn't get chased here down. Comes the and when you look at the, the mid laner, like obviously there is still a pretty big advantage there, but AD carry is such a powerful role this stage. A little bit, Fabi gonna have a hard time joining in. His E can't cross walls, and there goes Inhibitor Turret. Hunter D is getting farther and farther into this one. Cody Cody Sun means very little. He's got a life of that in two auto attacks. He's over 260. And look at the waves. They have massive waves built up in the side lanes again. So this is what so much of League of Legends comes down to. Lyra going to walk down to bot, try to clear that up. That means this inhibitor is gone. And 
Well, he's not even going to be able to do so. They're still going to lose the inhibitor, but there's going to be turrets being pressured on both sides. They can just rotate yeah. if they want, but things look very good on this Baron power play for Hunter Thieves. does seem really good for them. That turret actually might just die to minion shots, but none of them are hitting it, so maybe he's going to let that one fall because the fight in the top side of the map. The engage came through. Bravo came across the squad as well, and that's been dropping down. So one for zero so far. Were they going to be re-engaged? Yes, actually, Hakko goes back in, but there's no damage to be found on those back the life members. And they're all life something back up. Anyway, Hunter Thieves already started the team fight well as Demi goes down, never getting to even open for himself. And now Solo's got a respect this as well. Garden Angel still, but could be killed on the respawn. Two inhibitors down now. Save your Hunter Thieves. Yeah, I mean, Lyra wasn't even there. Hawkwo didn't get hit. Well, and this is a formality to drop. Who's going to get the last hit? Good job, Someday. A little bit quicker on the trigger here, but it's Her now just going to be gone before they can even respond. No chance at all. That's going to be the last inhibitor turret gone. The inhib itself is, of course, open now. They can find as this is going to start taking some real damage. Cody's going to go back and forth. Hunter Thieves just need to back up. Top lane is pushing in so heavily. There's tons of supers up there working their way in. Now Fevin goes to respond. As soon as he goes up there, you step forward. Oh, Stun's going to find one. Q is his pop, so he's going to stay alive. If two ulties down, that might mean the signal of the team fight then. Can they get back in? Of course, they have the Fevy ultimate. The knockup is in. Here comes the attack. Can they find anyone? Only knockup on the support, though. The re engage oh, the Megadar. Four. Lear about to lose his life. Three shots for Cody's son. And it's actually one kill picked up, though. A couple, actually, in the favor of Clutch Gaming. They found two clips open. Traded back as Cody will still not go down. Rocket jumps away. The shot into Apollo. Afro hold on the front line. The kill comes through courtesy of Rio. And it's Solo left up alone. Can he be the guardian angel of the team with it in his inventory? And I think the answer is no. 1v3, the minions being the fourth man here on this one. 100 Thieves will mount the comeback. They will also end the day tied in first place. Four and one is their record. What a game. Such a good comeback there from 100 Thieves. Down so far in the earlier stages, showing a lot of poise, a lot of discipline to be so calm throughout those stages to get to the later stages to scale up and really find those team fights when it counted and <laughs> Ryu and